a little bit about Sudan. I've been going to Sudan now since my first trip in the summer of 1989. And when I went the first time, the country was just coming out in the south, at least, of a terrible famine that killed a quarter of a million people. And I could see the results of it because some of the children were still severely uh, emaciated from the, from the famine. The famine was orchestrated. That is to say, it was not an accident that it happened. Uh, the central government resisted any of the aid agencies coming in to provide food because the civil war was going on and they wanted to basically kill people by denying them food assistance. They said if, if they die, they won't fight, and so let's just provide no food, make, make sure they don't get any food. Uh, at the independent celebration of South Sudan, Southern Sudan became an independent state July 9th of last year. I went to the celebration at the invitation of the Southern government and the president of the South, President South of here, I met after the ceremony, which lasted seven hours in 110 degree heat. It was a little warm. And I went up to Salva and said, congratulations on your, your um, independence. And he said, Andrew, don't congratulate me. Congratulate yourself. I said, Salva, why would you say that? He said, because the Northerners were trying to kill us all. And it was AID, the American people, through USAID, our foreign aid, that saved us. If AID had not been here, we'd all be dead. And in fact, President Bashir, on a couple of occasions, blamed me for the Civil War. He said, if we, you had left, the, they would have all died, and we wouldn't have had the Civil War. He didn't put it that way. <laughs> Are you actually recording all of this? <laughs> <laughs>